staying for now well over a year. He is not fit to serve. He is not fit to serve. He's one of the most incompetent presidents in the history of the United States of America. And so the idea that I think he shouldn't be out of office yesterday is not the issue. The question is, what happens with 14 days left to go or 13 days left to go? And I think that what 81 million people stood up and said, it's time for him to go. And the United States Senate voted 93 to 6 to confirm that we should be sworn in. We were, we were duly elected. So I think it's important we get on with the business getting him out of office. The quickest way that that will happen is us being sworn in on the 20th. What action happens before or after that is a judgment for the Congress to make, but that's what I am looking forward to, him leaving office. I was told that on the way up here, way over here, that he indicated he wasn't going to show up at the, uh, at the inauguration. One of the few things he and I have ever agreed on. It's a good thing I'm not showing up. Earlier, you'd said that if uh, you'd hoped that he would show up only in the sense that it was valuable to send a signal to the world about the transfer of power. You've clearly changed your perspective on that. Because he has clearly demonstrated, he's exceeded even my worst notions about him. He's been an embarrassment to the country, embarrassed us around the world, not worthy, not worthy to hold that office. If we were six months out, we should be moving everything to get him out of office, impeaching him again, invoke, trying to invoke the 25th Amendment, whatever it took to get him out of office. But I am focused now on us taking control as president and vice president on the 20th and to get our agenda moving as quickly as we can.